the political side of it, and then there's the real story. There's a lot to unpack right there. It wasn't quite the interview I thought that was going to be. There's a reason for it. This will be officially my favorite podcast I've ever done. Georgia when you were born, was not part of the Soviet no, Union. No, no. We got our independence on 91, 1991. Right. So when did you come to the U.S.? I come to the U.S. on 2019, but I was a tourist when I come. And then you just stayed? or No, then I was traveling a lot. Uh, before coming to U.S., I was living in Dubai. And from Dubai, I decided that I want to live in L.A. Oh, God. Yeah. You went from Dubai to L.A. Mm -hmm. on purpose? Yeah, on purpose. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, LA's a shithole now. No. It's a shithole. No. Sorry, I moved away from there. Yeah. No. I would never I, go back. I, I, I go back to visit, but it's just like, it, it's just chaos to me. The traffic's chaos. The homeless is chaos. The, yeah. The, the political situation's chaos. But I mean, I yeah. guess if you like crime you, and getting broken cars, broken into in Rolex, you, you stole them off you your hand. You prefer New York? No, I prefer where I'm at right now. Las right? Vegas? Yeah. If, if you come into my building right now, we're all armed. Like, you come in our building, try to sell something, we're going to shoot you. Yeah. Right? You go to L.A. and you shoot someone to defend yourself, they arrest you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're the guilty party. Mm -hmm. I lived in Orange County for 46 years. I'm not moving back. Oh, my God. Not moving back to Newport. Not moving back. I love the. I love, I love. love California, uh -huh. but not what it's become. Not even close. Really? Not to mention, it's ridiculously expensive. And it takes you... Hours to get anywhere. But I guess, I mean, I, I, I mean, mean, you're a you Hollywood know, girl, so you have to kind of be there, right? I have to be there. And also, I want to experience that experience that I wanted to. Oh, I'm, at your age, I'm not saying it's not fun, but I, yeah. I have no desire to. Yeah, uh, but, uh, but I'm thinking, like, for the future, like, when I'm 40 or 50, like, who knows what I'm going to have in my head, you know? Because mm. every year, I want to grow. Mm. Every year, I want to change. I want more and more and more. So Do you, L you call LA home? Yeah, I call it home. Like where in um, LA? I like now I don't have a home there to, <laughs> to call it a home. Sure. But I I was living when I was doing American Idol in West Hollywood. Got it. Hey, what did you what did you think of Dubai? I love Dubai, by the way. Dubai? Yeah. I love Dubai because it's, it's like a, not you can't explain it to people. Like why it, I love? No, no, you, you can't explain it when you're there. It's like something incredible. It is, but there is one thing like the safety. Like I, I was living there for one year. I never closed the door of my house. Oh, well, in Dubai, never. they'll cut your hand off. You do something wrong. Never, I know, never. It's crazy. And I was like my my bags. If it was in cafe or something, I knew it was safe. Mm -hmm. It's really the safest city. Ever. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the? What did you think? I mean, I have to tell you, I, I'm mesmerized by this place. But when I say to someone that a mall in Dubai is a big deal, mm -hmm. is it, how do you describe that mall in Dubai? It's like the one with the big water, the, mm -hmm. the aquarium inside of it. And well, it's the biggest mall in the world. I know, but you can't explain to someone that they have entire sections that are just for shoes, yeah, or just for jewelry that uh -huh. are just like bigger than a mall in America. Just for shoes. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not believable. It's crazy. Darren, have you, have you been to uh, Dubai? I was there with my girlfriend over New Year's first time, and we went to the mall. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, went to the restaurant. That, How that, much that, did you spend there? The, That's the, the it, question. It, it was ugly. We could discuss that <laughs> off of air. You know, it wasn't good for the credit yeah. cards. Yeah, I'm a, gi um, I'm a gigantic fan of it. She had fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> right. So you, how did you decide to live there? I, I, do they let you just live there? I mean, do you yes. have to immigrate or you just say, I want to live uh, yeah. there? Yeah, the story was like this. So uh, in Dubai, like Dubai is three-hour flight from Georgia. So I was always visiting for a holiday, and I, my best friend lives there. It's been like 10 years she lives there. So it was her wedding. So I was bridesmaid. So actually, I was flying from New York. She was like, you got to come because like you're only uh, you're the only one who I have for a bridesmaid. I'm like, of course I'm coming. You're my bestie. So I flew from New York. I was planning. On like, Emirates? Emirates, yeah. So great. It's Isn't so, it so it's great? It's like really good. It's so great. <laughs> I can't. Uh, you, you, I have the luxury of being able to fly. Uh, we, we own a, a G550, the, the company. Uh -huh. and so I fly in a great private jet, and I and I take a lot of clients and potential clients around in it. Uh -huh. But but Emirates is the only commercial flight that's like the equivalent. Like it's really wonderful. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you loved it, right? I mean, I I'd never, I'd never had experience of private jet. 
So like I, oh. I cannot. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully I, I will. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you will. Yeah. 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 It's uh, but but Emirates is really especially like the business class Emirates. Oh I've never God, stayed in Emirates first class where they have a shower. But that's yeah. even that's yeah, next level yeah, stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, that's next level. There, I I haven't also, and right. I really want to experience yeah. that as well. For sure. So the 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 story was like this: from New York City, I was flying with Emirates to Dubai, and I sang at my best friend's wedding, and there was uh, an owner of uh, the theater Dubai who really liked my performance, and and uh, he was like, "Do you like if we give you a contract? Like, would you like to?" Who was he? You no, know, like owner of the theater Dubai. It's the uh, theater it's a place, Dubai. Like, okay, it's the place they do shows they do like different performances and i was like of course i mean why not like i wanted to have that experience what is it to live abroad when you are young and like to live abroad independently like leave your comfort zone and it was perfect experience for me i was living for a year but i should say that in summer like you cannot leave there no no well it's like a little bit like vegas yeah that's pretty more, hot right now more 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 hot yeah more hot yeah, more yeah. hot like literally when you go outside and you have glasses you can't see nothing it's yeah. like uh, it's, it's a sauna it's next level hot it's next right? level yeah yeah i've lived in vegas long enough that doesn't really bother me but there's a few weeks in vegas a year where it gets to be a furnace where you're like like you're you're literally in an oven, you know. Like uh -huh. and, and everyone just stays inside. Like <laughs> there's no way. It, it, it's it's the strangest thing that you get out of a pool in in Vegas when during that period of time. Mm -hmm. And as you're walking, before you go to get sit down, you're pretty much dried off. Really? Yeah. It's it's brutal. It's brutal. And how many years it's been since you've been living here? Uh, two and a half, I think. Two almost and three a half. Years, yeah. And what you do in summer? What? What you do in summer? Um, well, I work all the time, so I'm traveling. Like yeah. I'm traveling tomorrow, and I'll travel. I'll be yeah. in Miami so next week. So it really doesn't bother you. No, it doesn't the, bother me. In fact, yeah. I, I I'm more bothered by being in Florida, whereas <laughs> you take a shower and you're wetter out of the shower than you are in the shower. Florida's humidity <laughs> is is something yes. biblical. Yeah. Um, but obviously, I digress a little bit here. Um, I'm fascinated about Georgia because obviously, uh. When people think of Georgia in the United States, they think of the state Georgia. Right. But you lived in Georgia, which was under Soviet rule. And um, I don't think people can e experience or appreciate. Oh, I, I want to get your take on this. I don't want to lead mis lead you down a path. I want you to, to explain the path. But mm -hmm. like, can you explain to the difference to people about what it was like to live in Georgia versus the United States? Uh, mm -hmm. Or... or is it similar now? I mean, because I will tell you that my experience in, in parts of the Middle East and that area is that people don't understand how good, even now, we have it in the U.S. They mm -hmm. just don't, they don't appreciate how, mm -hmm. how well it is here versus yeah, other places of the world. I can say that America is the place of opportunities and for dreams, like 100%. Mm -hmm. 100, because I'm going to say my experience as well about it. And about the difference, now Georgia is Europe. Oh, really? Yeah. So you live same as you live in Europe, and people are oh. cool. They love to style. They love fashion. Right. They love to eat good food. They love to travel. Like, we are very, like, and we we don't have, like, big nation, but we are, like, very small country. But mm -hmm. country is very beautiful, very, like, uh, good culture. Mm. We have uh, a country of wine. So you you will taste amazing wine, amazing food. We have amazing sea. We have amazing mountains, and mm. everything is good. But like about Soviet Union, I cannot really say because I didn't live when Georgia was part of Soviet Union. Right. But my mother can say that it was really bad times. Yeah. 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 It was really bad How, times. What's it What's it like uh, in Georgia nowadays for like sort of women's rights versus? It's amazing. Um, is it? It's, yeah, 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 yeah. Are we have a lot of fem pretty fem liberal country. Yeah, it is very liberal, liberal country, and especially my generation is striving for that right. that our rights uh, and uh, men's rights are like equal we right. have a lot of feminist uh, uh, ladies in my country and um, I think now we are like really going uh, fast to the future and mm. we are like we have as a role model we have America because like mm. we really love uh, these opportunities that this country can give and um and also how hardworking people are here. Like we, we, I always say in Georgia in my interviews that like the, the biggest thing that I love about America is that all the people that I've met, 
in in, in the industry, like mm. on American Idol as well. Like, like they are hardworking. I mean, they love their work mm. and they do it perfectly. Like whatever task uh, you give them, like they they will do it for a hundred percent. They're gonna put everything into it. That's what I love. When did you uh, When did you start singing? I started singing. Well, my mother is saying that when I was one years old. Oh, really? One years old, I couldn't speak, and like she was singing for me some lullaby, right? And I was singing that lullaby, like really? the melody. And so my mother understood that I have the ear. Mm. So she's saying that it's a God gifted talent. Mm. And I knew that, like, it, it's a blessing for me to know that, like, I was, since I remember myself, I knew that I'm gonna be a singer. Really? I am a singer. And I was saying to myself all the time, you're a Hollywood star. <laughs> it's so funny. Hey, you like, say it enough. You say it enough, right? I think, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So you started singing with, basically when you were out of the womb, about one years old. Yeah, right? yeah, we can say that. Wow, well, yeah. for sure. You were on the American Idol with Katy Perry. Uh huh. I'm a huge fan. Katy Perry? I, no, she was a judge. No, no, I'm a huge fan. I'm really? A huge fan of Katy Perry? Yeah. Like we all. So are. I saw the Prism uh, uh, tour. Uh -huh. I was on my. I was in Japan. And I was flying to New Zealand, uh -huh. and they uh, New Zealand had a pretty nice first class. I think I was like in business class or first class, mm -hmm. and they had a really uh, New Zealand Air had like one of the most amazing planes I've ever been on. Wow! And one of them was a concert of Katy Perry. Uh huh. And the Prism tour where she was in Australia, I watched that and watched her perform live, and I thought it was the most amazing thing. Mm -hmm. So incredible! Yeah. yeah Did you yeah. like her as a judge? Yes, I mean, uh, first of all, I liked her as a person. I can say that mm -hmm. because, like, one thing is when you have a perception of a of a celebrity from from the TV and what you see on the internet, and the second is when you met them. Like, if 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 it equals to what what you were waiting for, well, and and Katy Perry is amazing person. Like, mm -hmm. I love that she was not only giving me like compliments and good things. Oh mm -hmm. my God, you are so wonderful, and mm -hmm. like she was always criticizing me with the right things that's mm. what I love the most because then I would take uh, her criticism and work on it and then do it better for the next live show so I have a producer that keeps wanting me to talk about alive so let's talk about your latest song alive <laughs> like if we don't talk about it, even though we're on another okay <laughs> apparently this is your latest song right yeah this is my letter latest song which I wrote when I was 19 years old then, oh wow then we produced in Dubai by the way there is amazing song uh, songwriter and producer Stoyan and we worked on this song together together uh also with very talented uh, uh songwriter so we were like three we kind of like produced the song together and um i don't know i wanted the song to be like a powerful song mm. almost like a soundtrack for a movie so like a little like a little james bond like right, skyfall yes a little adele Li right, right 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 but like my style is completely different. Who do you consider yourself like? If you said I, I'm gonna pick pick a singer. Uh -huh. Who do you think you're the most like? If you had to pick someone, if I forced well, you to pick someone. Well, on American Idol, the judges were calling me Georgia and J Lo. Oh, Georgia and J Lo. Yeah. Oh, Georgia there you go. Yeah. But I think it's because of my appearance, like how I look, oh. maybe because of that. Because I don't think that our voices match. But are you are you arguing that they're arguing that you cut? Because when I first met you, I was thinking, are you Brazilian, yeah. right? <laughs> but you're saying like maybe a little Puerto Rican twist, <laughs> right? Like maybe yeah. I, I don't know. I Darren, I, I mean, do you? What do you think? What, who do you think she's most comparable to? <laughs> I, I I love the nickname J Lo from Georgia. I think that's what got me hooked. Darren, what do you uh what do you see in Nitsa? I, first off, it's always the person. You know, when I was on your podcast, I told you the most important thing is developing a foundation of a real, authentic friendship. Uh, all sure. my clients become family members. She's already seen this with several that she met. And she just has been manifesting most of her life and is on that, like, spiritual path where, uh, you know, she's not phased by much. Something great happens, great. If uh, something bad happens or doesn't work out, she just keeps trucking forward. So, you know, we bonded on that. And then getting back to Luke Bryan's comment, uh, the jailer from George is a marketing guy. I heard that and I, I went nuts uh, myself <laughs> over that. And, you know, we started kind of keeping in touch more. Eventually met, I think, uh, after she was off the show. Yeah. And I just said, look, I'm, I'm not somebody per se that 
is established with music artists, but I'm the best marketing guy in the world. My resources, my Rolodex are mm -hmm. ridiculous. It's the same thing, whether it's entertainment, sports, music. And I mean, she's already seen in the past uh, month and a half what we've been able to get accomplished. But I just think her values too, you know, the way her mother, her grandmother raised her, the people she was around, very different from any middle-aged 20-something-year-old American girl. You, know, you find out on the interview right now, the way yep. she says things, the way it comes out. <laughs> By the way, Todd, this is only her second Thanks, podcast. Dear. Only her second podcast. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> really, what what uh, what uh, so brings you out on, on the little tour now? Is it music videos? What do you got going on? Uh huh. Now I'm going to be back. Now I'm going to uh, Europe for a week. Then I'll be back to New York City where I'm going to be working on my album. Wow. Yeah, that's uh. huge. And I'm very excited. And after the album, uh, we're going to pick uh, the best songs and then we're going to try to um, make them hits. <laughs> oh, do you have a label yet? No. No, what, there, we what, are independent. Where what's the what's the what's the establishment now with labels now? It seems like that it's really uh, people's dropping stuff on uh, Spotify and I mean, what's the what's the state of the industry? I mean, it's way different than when I was growing up. That's for sure. I mean, it's um, I mean, you could do independent. I mean, you have platforms now to get music out there. Think about it. When I'm 53, you know, she can she can find the right social media influencer and get them to seize a song. And next thing you know, she's front and center. It's, uh, it's just unbelievable the technology this generation has. It's not just in music. I say it all the time. Any craft that you have, any type of passion that you have to do something, it's not like the old school days. You know, you have to find mm -hmm. the right mentors and the right um, you know, people that you look up to and just you know, put it out there and, and DMs and you know, private tweets, all that you, stuff. You kind of wanted to be on TikTok like a video that goes viral, well, you right? You can't go on TikTok and do a Todd Alt dance. That wouldn't work, but <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. she could do it. Sure. <laughs> she could do it. Uh, but I found your, your single Alive uh, mm -hmm. on an Apple. What, what platforms is it on right now? It's on every music platform. Every, oh. every. Like on Spotify, you can find it everywhere. So like whenever I have a song, we put it out ourselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you, you get on, I, I want you to take me through if you can, mm -hmm. like beginning to end, like the day or when you found out American Idol was going to be there, uh -huh. like the calculation, like I'm going to go try out. Mm -hmm. Tell me all the big stuff from the beginning to all the way to the end. Um. So first I want to say. Because I, I read an article that even though this other person won, uh -huh. that you're doing better than the other person. That's what I heard. I don't know that that's true, but that's what I read. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. Know I know you're, you're probably... I've been focusing so much. You're probably so friends much. with that guy. What's his name? I Am Tuna or something like that? Uh, yeah. He's an amazing guy. Is he? is He's an he? amazing guy with, from amazing family, and I appreciate him a lot because he is really talented, and I think that's what America is all about, and sure. like I really appreciate because I think that he was really deserving for that win. Like He really, really deserved, and whole America loved him. Okay, so that's where did really you try out? Thing. Where'd you try out? So, a uh, my... For, in my case, it was like they never allowed an American Idol for someone who's not from America originally and not living in America to uh, take a participation. Like never, like no one was finalist from another country on American Idol in 25 years. No one. Really? It was the first time that happened. Yeah. So I'm very thankful, very humble, very grateful for this opportunity that the producers gave it to me. Where it's did crazy. you try out though? I was trying for the show for eight years. No way, really? Eight years. And when I heard about American Idol, I was like, oh my God, like, just please. How old, you now? How old are you now? Now I'm 26. Oh, wow. So you were trying for a long time. Yeah, wow. for a long time. Like, since I turned like 18, I was like, I got to go to US. Like, I got to go to audition. I got to try myself there because I know that's my place. Because once you're in America, you're like kind of worldwide. It's not only mm -hmm. that you are in one country and and uh, like doing something, but you're doing something for the world. We have a platform called Risk On, right? And mm -hmm. and the, uh, the R in Risk On is relationships, but some of it, the I is invest in yourself. But you're taking a chance, right? You're mm -hmm. gonna go. I'm gonna go to America. I'm gonna try my thing. So mm -hmm. what pushed you to do it? Did you just know you were gonna do it, or did someone push you? 
Um, actually, I I had this this faith in myself that um, I was believing so much in myself and also my family so much in me that I had this faith always that when God gives you a talent, it's your job to use it. It's your job to do it. Because I was always feeling this like when I'm on stage, I feel this strange energy that you know you cannot learn it. It's mm. something that you have to do. It's your purpose. So. Every time I'm on stage, I feel that, and it gives me even more motivation to go forward and to do more. And that's why I, that's why I chose. All right, to- so set the stage. Where are you trying out at? Where are you singing? What song did you sing? Uh, I was in Dubai. So the first audition we did it was from Zoom call. I did like five audition. First, it was for casting director. Then it was for producers. Then it was for executive producers. Then, then finally, they called me, Nutsa, you can come to Las Vegas and let's hear what the judges going to say about you. And I was like, no way. I mean, it's, I was oh wow. I was going crazy. So it was here in Vegas. It was here in Vegas. And you have to get like a card, right? You pass to yes, the next level. And, You're going and, to Hollywood. Yes, it was like, I swear, I never in my life was so nervous about anything. Like, mm. I was so nervous. It's, it's so hard. You cannot even imagine. Like, everyone's quiet, and you just have to sing. What did you sing? I sang Greatest Love of All by Whitney Houston. Okay, let's go. And all I right, guys, we're going to listen to her Lady sing Greatest Marmalade. Love of All right now. Come on, give us a, your audition right now. <laughs> okay. Can you do that for us? Because I think course. that's a great song. Just like maybe 15, 20 seconds of it. I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's shadow. If I fail, well, if I succeed, at least I need as I believe. No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity because the greatest, greatest love of all is happening to me. me. Cause I found the greatest, greatest love of all inside of me. Damn. (laughs) Oh my my God. You didn't even know you were going to do that, did you? No. Oh, wow. Wow. That was unexpected. (laughs) All right. Well, we love singing here. I'm a huge fan. I love singing. Darren knows this. I'm a huge fan of Sarah McLaughlin. I'm a Mm. huge fan. I'm a huge, I, I love female singers, ballad singers. I love that stuff. I'm, of course, all over the place, too, because I also like Def Leppard and all kinds of old shit, too. So I, I, my wife says, you know, like, literally, I'm the, it's the most insane palette of music taste you've ever seen because mm-hmm. I like all kinds of stuff, like crazy, you know, I like old Judas Priest. I like, I'm crazy about mm-hmm. this stuff. But I just like music in general, right? Mm-hmm. So you get, a, you, you, you do the five interviews, you come to Vegas. Guess now what? you're going to Hollywood. Right? You're going to Hollywood. What happens after that? So I go to Hollywood, and it's like the craziest two weeks of my life. I mean, that, that's what I was saying, the work ethic they have. Like, we were starting from 5 a.m., sometimes till 1 a.m. shooting. Wow. Like, sometimes we shoot, like, two uh, episodes together. So it was, it was really, really uh, hard times, but also it was very necessary times for me and very useful and like I grew in that time a lot as an artist and as a person as well it was very challenging so where did you where did you end up in the final like what happened so in finals I sang with Kyla Minogue oh really yes so that was like a win for me. I, I swear. It was crazy. Like producers are calling me and I'm like, Nutsa, you're going to go crazy. Because I didn't know that because they picked for us oh, uh, the duet part- partners for the finals. Mm. So so we didn't know uh, who with whom we are singing. So, so they are calling me. They were like, I'm like, no way. Because I just remembered myself when I was like six or seven years old in front of a mirror with my um, TV remote, mm-hmm. you know, singing uh, Kylie's song. The same song that we sang for the finals. It's crazy. And then then it was like a huge success for me as well. Not only here, but in my country. They were like going crazy. One of the most compelling uh, podcasts that I've ever been on was uh, and I and I, I have to be fair. Like, listen, I when I'm wrong, I'm wrong, right? Uh, I even complained to you. I'm like, what the? You know, I'm not interested in this recovery thing. You know, mm-hmm. I was 
very mm-hmm. negative about it because I've met a lot of people in it that take abuse it. And Darren's podcast, I, I have probably not ever been so transformed on a podcast in the middle of the podcast mm-hmm. where I'm like, I was blown away. I actually forgot that I was even on the podcast because wow. he was explained to me how important it was to him and how we dealt with it. I was like, I, I'm still to this day blown away. So actually, ironically, when I saw Darren, I just wanted to get out and say hello. Yeah. Uh, so this That's is obviously how everything started. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's like always it's always an hour later. Yeah. There's always serendipity, right? But uh, you're with a good guy who I think, um, um, well, at least at a minimum is driven by his convictions. So mm-hmm. I think it's really it's really powerful. Actually, I, I like following your stuff too. Uh, you're, you're definitely with the right connected guy. I so know. what do you think I of uh, We Are Nuts for Nutsa? I love that line. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're, We're nuts, nuts for Nutsa! Love it. It's such a Did good you, Do you have like name. merch with Nuts for Nutsa on it? We are working on that. Yeah, you got you got to do that. Katy yeah, Perry says we're Nuts for Nutsa. Yeah, yeah, and it's crazy. And not only one time. I mean, all the time on live shows uh, and shootings. Like She was saying this all the time, and it's so crazy. Like, it's really. And then uh, the the production team and the producers they and the contestants as well, they all started saying the same thing. So it was like. Yay! That's that. cool. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. So, it, would you, did you come off a high when you were with it? Because, like, as you have all this stuff going on, and I'm curious about like the aftermath of Idol. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, how much are you recognized as a popular show? Mm-hmm. What What is that like for you now? I mean, I in Georgia, I was used to it in really? my country. Really? Yeah, I was I was used to it. But after the show, like, so they knew you in Georgia already. Yeah, yeah, oh. they knew me f- uh, from I was 16 years old. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. So, but but American Idol was like different level. Like they they really appreciated then my work, like the hard work that I put into my career. Then people started appreciating that. But to be uh, recognized here in America, it's next level. It's crazy. Like right. I remember, like all the time when I'm at the airport. Uh, so strange like uh sometimes officers recognize me sometimes oh, really? yes uh, sometimes on check-in uh they, and they they not only recognize but like they they were watching the show and they know my story yeah. like where i'm coming from right. what i've done and it's crazy and also i was meeting with uh, idol fans as well before shootings and after shootings right. and they were telling me that they've been watching my uh other performances like mm. once they once they saw me on American Idol, they googled and mm. they saw another performance. I was a big fan of American Idol for a long time. I, it's been going on such a long time. I actually think I was in a previous marriage. Like <laughs> I've been married for twenty years. To give you some perspective, <laughs> I think I watched American Idol with my first wife. And um, but one of the some of the American Idols I loved was um, uh, it, it was it was probably the first eight seasons. Yeah. That were really kind of amazing to me. Mm. Um, Adam Lambert, those kind of things were just incredible. So mm. the show has just is lived on forever. Is Ryan still the host? Yes. Did you love Ryan Seacrest? I love Ryan. I mean, I not only Ryan. I mean, a whole family of American Idol. Like, right. If you're not in it, you cannot feel it. Like it's right. it's such a family. It's such. How an the hell does that guy do that? I, I cannot. I don't understand how he does what he does. Like. He's like he's hosting a show here and there. Like he's he's almost like he's a phantom. He's I don't know how he works so much. Mm-hmm. And now he's is it true that he's doing Wheel of Fortune? I don't know. I heard that too. How, week, I don't understand I don't how it's confirmed. possible. The guy's like a super host. I know. Yeah, he is. He is. And also a very good human. Did you get to know him? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. He was always talking to us, always and asking us about different things. It's he's really nice. Right. He's like a he's super. So you know, it's a natural occurrence, you know, when you are a singer from such a young age and you grow up in the industry and then you kind of expand, you remember where you started, mm. right? So I got to assume that you're, because I know you're doing some clothing, some fragrance stuff, you're mm-hmm. doing all kinds of stuff around entertainment. Have you did any acting at all? Uh, I've done a two times in a musical. Oh, in really? Georgia, like it was huge musical, and I was I had the lead part, and it was such an incredible experience. I'm like, I mm. want to do it again, again, and like again, a, and again. Like on Broadway or something. I can do it Broadway yeah, for sure because right. I love, I love Chicago. I love oh, watching go. Liza Minnelli. Like I can like there you wa- go. Yeah, I can watch her live performances over and over and over again. Like mm. I love her, and I just love 
everywhere where is talent, everywhere where is cameras. I love mm. that environment. <laughs> Did American Idol make you bigger in Georgia? Definitely, yes. Right. Yes, yes. Not only in Georgia, in Dubai as well. In Dubai, people were writing so much press because they were like, oh, our Dubai resident, because I'm a resident of Dubai as well. Like mm. They were like, our Dubai resident makes it to top 12, makes it to top this, and makes it to finals. And like they were also rooting for me so much. I mm. got to go back for at least well, a week. I'm, I'm curious about when you didn't win the actual whole thing, mm -hmm. right? Like... What what goes on in that period of time? Do you are you sad you didn't win? I mean, I guess no. that's a natural occurrence, no? I actually no, I was not sad because of what I explained. Like I know that I'm coming from a different country. The thing to be in the show is already a win for me because they never allowed, and now for the first time they allowed. So it was a great thing for me to experience. But like to expect people to vote for you when you're not born and raised here it's kind of you know i i got it that it was like uh, the way it was and uh, i was just happy just to experience that in georgia they speak a different language yeah they speak georgian georgian we speak georgian yes we have very old very deep culture very rich culture do you sing in georgian too yes oh, definitely that's crazy. Yes. how many languages I do you sing in i sing five languages jesus <laughs> I, I know five languages Hey, you're making me look like a bum. I speak one language. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> so I've kind of started this new thing. I, I know I love a few things like this, so I always want to ask everybody these topics. So, like, what's your favorite food? Georgian food. Okay, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> Specifically. Which you gotta taste. What, what is it? Like, uh, what is it? Oh is my it God. fish? Is it meat? No, we have amazing cheese and we have amazing meat. But what I love the most is like we have this cheese boat where it's a cheese boat. Yeah, we call it cheese boat. It's literally a boat. Uh -huh. Inside, you can see an egg, you can see a lot of tasty cheese, and you can see butter. So you mix it up. Cheese, cheese. Yeah, you mix it up. Then you take the bread from the from the boat, and mm. then you eat like this All with right. the head. I, 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 <laughs> the head of what? <laughs> Hand. Oh, the hand. Ah. <laughs> like, what the hell? Okay. Uh, Darren, I, I really appreciate you bringing Nutsa by. We're nuts for Nutsa. <laughs> uh, and you guys want to check her out okay. on Apple Music and Spotify. And uh, I, I got I get this feeling we're gonna be uh, we're gonna Thanks know each around. other for a long time. We're gonna put your Instagram up on on mm -hmm. the screen for sure. It's uh, Nutsa Buza. It's N U T S A B U Z A. Got it. <laughs> hey, thanks for stopping by. I, I hope you, you so uh, much. enjoy the rest amazing, of your time in Vegas. I had, I had an amazing time, and I'm so I'm so thankful to meet you, and also thank you for inviting me in karaoke and the next show. Yeah, you 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 have a big fan now. And big thanks to my super agent, Darren. Yes. All right. Hey, we're gonna put Darren's info up there too. Darren, actually, quite honestly, if you want to see a, a a guy's Instagram, watch Darren's. I mean, the guy. <laughs> The guy's all over the place. Anyways, <laughs> take care, everybody. Risk on. No, I'm not explaining to you. Don't be rolling yet. There's a reason for it. No. So I did get that right. I did get that right.